Today I'm going to to look at the patch costing. Patch costing. The term patch means a group of identical items. A group of identical items. So, patch costing is a form of specific order costing. It is a, a form of specific order costing. Job costing refers to costing of jobs that are executed against specific orders, various in batch costing items and manufactured for stock. So a finished product may require different components for assembly and may be manufactured in an economical part force. So batch costing is a special type of job costing. So as I've said, a batch is defined as a cost unit, which consists of a group of identical items. In batch costing, a job consists of units of similar products covered by a single number. Okay. For example, in shoe factory, a batch consists of 5,000 shoes. The total cost is spread over the number of a patch. The, okay, the total cost of the patch is spread over the number of units of product made in that job. So the procedure of patch costing is very similar to the factory job costing. But now the products which are being produced are also similar. So it means during production, during production, direct costs are charged to the job. During production, direct costs are charged to the job. And a share of overheads of each patch is charged to the cost center. So when the, when the job is completed, it is put into the finished goods store at factory cost. When the job is delivered, meaning when we take the, the goods or the items to the market, a share of administration and selling overhead is charged to the cost center. Then the difference between the total cost and the and the selling price, difference between the total cost and the selling price is the profit for that job. So when orders are received from different customers, there are common products among orders. Then production orders may be issued for purchase. The purchase will consist of the determined quantity of each type of the product. So under patch costing, a method is adopted in such cases to calculate the cost of each patch. Cost per unit is ascertained by dividing the total cost of a patch by the number of items produced in that patch. For you to get the cost of each unit, you divide the total cost of that patch by the number of items produced in that patch. So in order to do that, a patch cost sheet is prepared. A patch cost sheet is prepared. The preparation of the patch sheet cost is similar to that of job cost sheet, meaning you have to start with the direct cost, that is the direct materials, direct labor, and direct expenses for you to get the prime cost. Then you add the factory overheads, which you call the production overhead, for you to get the factory cost. After that, you add administration and selling 
and distribution overheads for you now to get the total production cost for the whole patch. Let's look at the factory job posting. Factory job posting. So under factory job posting, jobs are taken in factories or workshops to customer special requirements, which are given separate job numbers. So in factory job posting, all jobs are taken in factories and workshops according to the customer's requirements are given separate job numbers. Each job is completed within a specific time. Each job is completed within a specific time. All posts in card in respect of a particular job are charged to this job. All costs in card in respect of a particular job is charged to this job. Examples of factory job posting are the pairs of the peoples in a workshop, printing of, of books in a press. For example, they follow a specific line. That's why we call the job posting. So when you are pairing a motor vehicle, you need so many pairs. Which you are going to join, and you must you must know the time which you are going to spend. So in fact, for each of costing, small cost units are applied. Small cost units are applied. So in the case of factory job costing, the following steps are taken. During production, during production, direct costs are charged to the job. Direct costs are charged to the job, and a share of overheads of each post center is charged by means of overhead absorption rates. When the job is completed, it is put in the finished goods store at factory cost. When the job is delivered, a share of administration and selling overheads is charged. Then the difference between the total cost and the selling price is the profit. So factory job costing and patch costing, they follow the same thing procedure. So in factory job costing, you prepare job post card, but in patch posting, you prepare a patch post card. That's the only difference. But all of them, they put the same same procedure. Apart from when you are when you are using patch posting, you must produce identical items at once. So our next topic will be service costing.